Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Minecraft on the Block. This is the Crafters Minecraft FTB pack server. And today's going to be some housekeeping. So first off, let me apologize for the sound issues from last time. Um, I believe I have them rectified. I will test that. In fact, let me test it right now. I want to make sure. Yes, it seems like the sound issues are rectified, so we're good to go. Um, still got that thing up there, my favorite thing in the world. Look at it turn into. I, it was, there was a storm earlier when I was playing and it was just whipping around. Well, not too much faster than that, actually. It's going pretty good, but anyway. Okay. So some housekeeping stuff. Let me, let me just kind of walk you through the thought process that I've had since last time. So I panicked because I was upset about losing the diamonds and I'd been spending so much time over here that I forgot about my mining techniques and they seem to not be paying off as well as they have in the past. And so I was just all flustered and I was like, man, I wasted so many diamonds and I, how am I going to get back to where I need to be? And so I made this <laughs> because I was going to go try to do an uncrafting table. So this is a twilight portal. I went in there for about two minutes. I didn't do anything interesting or useful in there. Um, and I realized that I was just way, I was not anywhere near prepared to go into a, uh, to go into a labyrinth and get the stuff necessary for a uncrafting table. So, um, <laughs> So that was that. And then um, I'm not exactly sure what all went through my mind, but I did decide to just go do some mining. And so now I'm back to good. Um, I, my, my The mining has really been paying off. So a couple of things. One, I got a macerator um, because I was really upset about <laughs> I was really upset about the whole the diamond thing, like I said, and then I wanted to get some more diamonds and, and really get my process back in order. And so I went mining and I got like 20 diamonds or something like that, 20 diamond ores because I've got this um, unbreaking silk touch pickaxe, right? So I went and I got a bunch of diamonds and I put them in there and they turned into diamond dust. So, so you could macerate diamond ore and you get diamond dust, which is actually very useful. Um, if we go look here, we can see that you make it, well, this stuff is, you know, whatever, but then for making a rock breaker, you can use it in tools for like a rock cutter. You can use it for the diamond jackhammer. You can use it for, you can even use it for making fiber, which is really great. So it's actually still very, very useful. You can even use it in the mining drill once we get this, right? So it's actually still very, very useful. Um, in fact, you could use it for the macerator. There's a lot of things you can use it for. You can't use it for some things. Some things are still just requires diamonds, but you do get two for one out of it. Now, I'm still not sure if that's better than, I think I'm getting better than two for one out of this, which is my Fortune 2 pickaxe, which, I mean, I could get a better one as well. But, um, so I've, <laughs> I decided to go and, uh, once I was back into a few diamonds, I decided to go make myself a pick, and I did. And then I went down there and with my Fortune 2 pick, and I got 43 total now with 18 dust. And I think I can turn, I think I'll probably still get some ores. What I may do is get like half and half, get diamonds from some, and and ores from some and then put them in the macerator because I do want to be able to to use this. Although again, I mean, as long as I have a fortune pick, it may not be any reason to do this because I believe I could get, I think I can get dust from just a straight diamond. Let me see if that's true. So in a macerator, yeah, I can get dust from a straight diamond. So there really may be no reason to bring back diamond ore at all. So anyway, I'm back in good with the diamonds, and then what I was going to do is make another diamond pick because I'm basically trying to get a good mining pick. Right now, this one I'm keeping on me so that I can, when I find diamonds, I can use it for the fortune. And this one I'm keeping on me so that I can get, you know, redstone and whatnot. Um, and I was using these because I just didn't have enough diamonds, but we're going to go enchant this at about a level 24. So I'm running out of room. You can see I'm almost out of two full diamond chests full of cobble and basalt and all this junk. And I got to do something about that. Um, dirt's going to be a problem soon. So I need to get something going that I would be able to rectify that issue. Um, hold on just a sec. All right. Sorry. Anyway, so I'm going to... I'm going to go ahead and enchant this next diamond pick and I'm going to need to go level 50 mining on my next mining expedition because I need copper and stuff, which I'm close to being out of. All right. So this is going to be a 26. I think I can put that there. Is that right? No, that's going to do three of them. I need to put it right here and here. So if you don't know, this just blocks those two bookcases. Each bookcase lends two. The corner ones lend three, so or lend six. So these are drop it by two by putting them here. And if you put one in the corner, you're getting rid of three bookcases. So that's six total. So this should give me a level 24, which is actually what I wanted. Why didn't I do that in the first place? 
I think I was thinking 26. So we actually do want to get rid of three of them. There we go. That'll work. That gives us a 24. There we go. Perfect. Efficiency three. I would really, that's kind of a crappy one. I'd rather have this, this one, efficiency three, fortune two, I got with a level 22 enchant. So that's really kind of a jip, but it's at least a pickaxe that I can use in some mining that'll whip through it. So I can go down to level 50 and get some copper. The reason that that's a problem is because I have done some additional work that I want to catch you guys up on. And then I'm going to tell you the, the, what I'm trying to deal with today. And then we'll, we'll go a little bit further. So let me get all this junk. I've just been dumping stuff in here that I was not needing. Okay, let's go. Wait, do I need, yeah, I should probably fill that thing up. Let's see. So yeah, let me, let me talk through it a little bit. So I went ahead and, and made some progress um, on offline, which I should have probably, I, I've just been wanting to play and I haven't had time to record. And so I've played a little here and there and it's not really conducive to recording. And so I wanted to make progress anyway. So I did. Um, so I made a bunch of uh, these Blutricity engines. In fact, let's look at that real quick. So the Blutricity engines, Blue Electric engines, I guess they're called. That is these, and they require these motors, which we had seen before. So I made a, I made six of these total. So you can imagine the resources, brass gears, the motors, and so my diamond, uh, my diamond draw plate is actually getting some use. If you look here, <laughs> I may actually use two of those in my lifetime. So anyway, um, better get my. Did I already get it? I did. I just didn't put it on, did I? There we go. So anyway, let's uh, let's go look at what we've done. And the problem that we're going to have, you can see I also made a couple of these things, these voltage transformers, because I believe, so I, I mean, I have very kind of basic rudimentary knowledge of electricity, to be honest with you. Even though I was actually an apprentice electrician, actually I was a journeyman, I made it all the way to a journeyman electrician a long time ago. So I don't, I know less than I should, but... Um, Anyway, so I ran this cable over, right? And if we go look over here, this is kind of interesting to me. Um, oh, this thing is totally drained. Let's see. Oh, interesting. Let's go look over here. I wonder if that thing is unloaded while these engines are loaded. Something weird going on. Now, so they're still running. It seems like they're maybe running off of just the power coming straight off the windmill now, which is really interesting. Look at that. So they're barely kind of some, these, I just think these engines look so cool, but this first one, these first two are getting enough power to run at full steam, right? So it's coming through there. They're not getting no problem at all. And then these are not, this is actually going to be a really good test for us. So anyway, I'm powering this magma crucible, which I put nether rack in and it's powering the geothermal, which is not going very fast at all. I mean, this process is slow, but it would be, I don't know. It would be okay. So let's see. I also don't know how often this thing is running because I'm not over here. So I'm going to have to get like a world anchor or something in place. This actually might be the perfect test for us. So, so what I wanted to show you is if we look here and I don't, again, I don't know all of the numbers and the math behind it, but I know that if we look here, we're getting 60 volts 2.5 amperes, which is 153 wattage, right? If we go look down here, where it's coming into the engines, oh, now it's just, everything is just shut off. We're getting 60 volts, 1.7, 107. And that number gets much more skewed. So 65 versus, that number gets much more skewed when there's actually power coming through these things. So what I'm trying to figure out is if I can increase that process at all with, or increase that output with 10 kV wire. So I'm gonna do this, I'll probably do this offline. Let me pick up all this wire, go turn it into 10 kV wire, which I'm gonna need wool to do. Um, which I'm gonna need wool to do. So I'm gonna go, that's probably not the best use of my pick, frankly, but um, anyway, so let's see. Give me that piece of cobblestone. Oh, great. I hate that, dropping that backpack. It's just wonky. There we go, I can do 
it just as easy as my hand. So yeah, let me pick this up. I'll make it into 10 kV wire with just putting wool around it. And then I'm going to use these transformers to transform down to a lower... I believe I'm going to go to a lower... Lower voltage, higher wattage, or ampers, or something like that, with the transformer, and then we'll transform back right here. So let me go. Ooh, an Enderman. Where are you at? I don't know. Okay, let me go get that stuff ready, and then I'll come back and we'll we'll try it out. My hope is that I'm going to get more power directly from the the system into those engines, but I don't know if that's the case. I'll be right back. All right, had to shear some sheep, but I got it. So we have, let's see, oops. Get myself in order here. So we've got this 10 kV wire, which is definitely a temporary recipe. I think there's actually going to be even bigger wires or higher voltage wires as well. So these won't connect to each other, right? So I need to put a transformer here. And if I do that, there we go. They connect in and out. And then let's just take a look and see what we have. So coming in, we have 82. Coming out, we have, ooh, so high, much higher volts, much lower ampers. So that, I believe, is conducive to transporting electricity. Let's see if that's true. I'm going to have to go sleep here in a second. Did I hit that? Yeah. It's very cool looking. I'll actually probably run this straight down from the, uh, oh, we didn't get enough. Hopefully I have enough. Oh, there's six of them. That's not going to be enough, is it? That's right. I'm going to have to go sleep anyway. Let me. Gets me really close. Do I have any other color wool on me? <laughs> well, let's just do that for now. We'll, uh, we'll change it in a minute. I need some light down here. Gonna have problems. I don't want things spawning in the electrical room. That would be a disastrous. All right, so transformer. That's just that red alloy wire, by the way, which is basically just. You know what? I have to go back one. Let's get, well, that red alloy wire is basically just um, redstone. That is not what I meant to do. It's basically just redstone. So you can uh, use it for redstoning on the walls and stuff, which is very, very cool. Let's see. One, two, three, transformer. Wrong way. Can I not transform the other direction? Do you have to... There we go. So there is an in and out. That's interesting. And then the voltmeter. So we're 18, 0. Okay. So that's pretty close. So I don't know what that I don't know what that really means for us to be honest with you. I don't know if it's because it's night that the windmill's not really running. It seems like that was kind of the case. We're getting basically nothing. And maybe this is totally the wrong thing to do. But what I want to do is see if we're if we're getting less loss than before. But let me go sleep. I'll be right back. Alright, I got some more wool and slept, and that thing's spinning pretty good right now, so let's go see what our <laughs> Situation looks like. Oh, I need to eat. Yeah, it's been a pretty good to keep producing a decent amount of power. And those bat boxes or battery boxes should be holding power, but I think I got them. They were they basically juiced up really quick, and then it seemed like they weren't getting drained at all. And then even when the engines were running, and then now they seem to be getting drained quickly. Yeah, see, they're not, I mean, they're not doing anything useful at all. So I wonder if <clears throat> if I should just get rid of those, go straight into this thing. Probably, I should probably just come straight down without even messing with this wire at all. So this one's at 3139, or 3131. This is at 3094, so the volts is higher. I believe that's what we want. What is it up here? 
Yeah, see, we're losing a lot just in that trans that transition right there. A lot. So I think we should get rid of these boxes altogether. They're not doing anything. We're using up energy as fast as we can get it right now. Let's try that. Let's try that. And in fact, we're going to, if we can, I'm going to have to go get some more wool, I can tell you right now. Oh, I can't use red. That's funny. It has to be white wool. Well, at least there's some limitation on it. Let's see. be close let's see how do I <laughs> that's funny let's see I know you guys probably don't think it's that funny There's got to be a better way to do this. Oh, probably like this. Uh. Except for now, I'm, uh, I'll be back. As you guys probably noticed, there's like a hundred sheep right here, so I'll just use these. Um, yeah, I'm not really sure. I'm gonna have to. So my goal today was to just mess with this a little bit and then go do some research and find out what's actually going on, and then that would help me get to a point where I could make some better decisions and try to design the system a little better. I believe we're close. I mean, I think, I think that this process is going to work and I think that these things will produce enough power to do what I want to do. In fact, so I think I, I, I said it, but I don't know if I mentioned what I thought was the real impact of it. Now, wait, can I just come straight up? It looks like that does connect. I don't know if that's true or not. Let's see. What would it look like if it didn't connect? Well, I don't know if I'll be able to tell that. Crap. I think, I think that connects. That looks like the same thing to me. Maybe not though. Maybe, maybe that's what it would look like if it connected. Let's see. I think maybe that isn't connected. That is not connected. So if anything then, we want to run that. And then where do I... Oh, man. Give me this. And... Anyway, so since we can't use macerators to double our production of, of diamond, it seems like I was probably wrong that basically a the other machines are just as good as a macerator. I think the auto braking system, when this thing isn't have any place to put the energy, I think it stops. So 21. All right, so let's see if that ends up. The problem is because we don't have a consistent output, I'm not sure if this is any better than it was before. But let's give it a shot. Anyway, that looks awesome, if you ask me. Um, because the yeah, because the macerator isn't going to give us any more output for diamonds, and the pulverizer seems to do just as well with the rest of the ores, I I think I'm just going to use the pulverizer um, in my my system. I don't I don't know if that's the case or not because I don't really want to do the overclockers. I'm not in a hurry to get stuff through the system. Um, I don't know. I think it's going to work out. So anyway, give me just one second. All right. Sorry. I just wanted to make sure that the uh, sound was okay. So let's see. Let's go ahead and move this thing again since we can now. And my thought is I'm going to have just a bunch of these engines um, if this works. Perfect. Everything is working out just as just as I planned it. So let's see. And I don't know. I mean, I don't know 
at what point the the loss becomes too great to to take but let's do this transformer need to get a sonic screwdriver one of those that's basically charge you can charge that thing up there we go now anything Twenty eight volts coming out, and I'm assuming didn't need to put that there. I'm assuming these are all getting power now. Let's see if they decide to start up. So I took the bat boxes out of the system. Right, this we need to check this. So we're getting twenty nine. 5.3 so we don't really care what's in the middle what we want to know is is that close to what we're getting at the uh, I really need two people to do this it's that close to what we're getting at the source because that's 29 5.3 and it just varies it can vary in the time I walk over here yeah 30 30 and 26.2 that's so anyway I think that the important thing is the volts and the volts are about the same so that seems to me to be a good thing um, but there's obviously something we're missing because I don't seem to be getting actually any usable power. So it's one thing to figure out how to get the power over here. It's another thing to not have my engines running. Point two five amps. It must be the amps must be the problem then. I don't know. I just don't understand. I don't understand how it works. So I guess that means it's time for me to do some research. Although I've created a butt ton of this uh, 10 kV cable, so I'm going to have to go back and make some of the other stuff if this isn't going to work. But anyway, okay, bear with me. I'll be back. All right, guys, I'm back. And you can see these things are all running pretty good now. What's funny about this is that I they just started doing that. I was basic. Excuse me. I was basically yeah, and they're they're working all right. I was basically looking and doing research and figured out that yeah I mean it seems like it seems like I'm doing it right the idea is that if you want to transfer power over long distances you want to use this you want higher voltage and lower amps and then if you want to use it you have to downgrade it to lower voltage and higher amps which is exactly what's going on um, and it's spinning pretty good now so we're at yeah 641.29 so at the output oh crap I just forget that I don't think I can get in there. So at the output, let's see what it is. 6529. And what? It's going to be annoying. I should have put it up one higher or else learn to use my ladders. And then, yes, yeah, 64. So they, the, the, it's basically plus or it's like times 100, right? It goes, the amps go to 100th of what they were and the volts go up. Um, and then we transferred along here and there's much less loss because when we come out, we're at 62 and 25. So yeah, so it's, but it seems like that wasn't working. These engines were just, well, you saw it, but they were just sitting there doing nothing. It might've been that I just didn't have enough power yet. Um, so, but they seem to be working at full power. I think they're each capable of like 32 millijoule output, um, at max capacity. So I don't know if that means we need... Because I don't think they're getting that much power. You can see that I don't really know, to be honest with you. I still just don't understand. But I'm not sure that they're getting, they're not getting max output right now. Um, so we are just going to have to figure out what to do about that. Um, I guess that probably means this thing's about to, in the nether rack. I mean, it just doesn't, it seems like those coal engines are working better than this. Seems strange to me. I don't know how to tell the millijoule output on these though. That's the problem. Um, I don't know if there's a, sorry. I don't know if there's a tool for that. Um, you guys probably could tell me about it. Um, there might be. So anyway, this thing's starting to fill up again. So yeah, I mean, I guess, hmm. What I would like to do is try using this, this power for something else like, um, maybe for 
because you don't see it's really weird because I because I can't get up to a high enough power usage. It doesn't tell you it's it's powering the internal storage. It doesn't tell you how much how many millijoules are being put into it, which is all very strange to me. I, I don't think I fully understand yet. But what might be interesting is to hook up some other buildcraft machines that would just kind of give a, a benchmark of how well these engines do. Um, but they look sweet, and that's all that matters, right? <laughs> so anyway, um, yeah, I don't really know. I'm just, I'm really frustrated by the lack of knowledge that I have, so i got to figure that out. But we're at least running again, so what I think I'm going to do is go bring over um, some of my machines and start getting started. Like I said, I think what I'm going to, I think what I'm going to go with is the pulverizer powered furnace to start with. Um, yeah, that thing's spinning really good now because I think that would allow us to, uh, that would allow us to just use the build craft power directly would get rid of that geothermal generator thing. We can still be doing that. I think, I think I could still, I, I mean, I think what I could do is I could just run this power up into my systems and hold on a second. Everything is flaky. Hold on. I'm telling you what, I'm having the strangest things going on, but my frame, I, it, I, it's supposed to be recording at 30 frames a second. It was recording at like 60 and it doesn't, I don't know. I don't know what's going on. And it was giving me hiccups, but yeah, so anyway, I think we could run the build craft power just straight out of that thing and still utilize it in here, I think. Um, so I could I could be producing EU as well as... It's coming along. I mean, it's cranking. It's just not... It'll, it'll, it'll do pretty good. Anyway, um, I could be producing EU, building up EU as well as... Um, using this power. So we probably should see it may be that these engines are producing more power than this thing can even use right now. Maybe that's as fast as it can take the power in. That's very possible. And so anyway, let me go get those machines and we'll get set up and see, see if things get any better. I'll be right back. All right, guys, I got a quick setup here. Not probably the end result, but I've messed with a couple of different things, but I think what I'm gonna do is come out of here. Um, in fact, this isn't necessary anymore. I think what I'm going to do is come out of here, out of my array, and this will just kind of be the, you know, this is right below the floor. This will just kind of be the utilities level. And to come up here, and I think I'm just going to place these things down here. So what do we got? And the pulverizer. So let's see, are they getting power? They are very slowly. And the question is going to become, how does this power get routed and split up and stuff? If we kill this, what does it look like now? Not that much faster, I don't think. And maybe it's because of the amount of power that they can take, but it's just going so slow, it seems like. And they're running full speed. What's going on over here? These are not, yeah, so they're just producing power. Doesn't seem to be getting hung up anywhere. Well, I was going to just let this thing do its work. It's only pulling one millijoule, which does not, does not seem correct at all. Nice, eight. Eight to one on those. Hmm. Well, what I was thinking is this, this stuff is so lossless, it loses 0.01% of its energy over each block, which is really good. So it's not that. It doesn't seem like having this connected or not connected hurts or helps at all. It's just a really weird thing. I don't think I, 
don't know how many times I'm going to say I don't understand it <laughs> before before you believe me. No. See, this thing definitely seems to be cranking out, taking millijoules faster. I don't know if it has to do with where you place that. I guess I could test that. I could put this over here in a... I mean, this is... You would think that couldn't possibly have any effect, but you just never know. No. It's just going really slow. Well, it may be that we have to take this in the next episode, because I think I'm about done for this one. <laughs> I wanted to get this out anyway, get you guys a video that you could actually hear, so... That's what I'm doing. Um, well, I mean, we kind of got stuff working. We, we've we got, you know, we're, we're producing EU. It's not very efficient. We're producing millijoules or micro, whatever, Minecraft jewels, even though, again, not very efficiently. Man, it's just so stinking slow. Oh, it's not connected at all, but it's just definitely slow. Yeah, that's really slow. But I guess I just need to play with it, see how it works, and we'll learn more as we go. So that's where we're at. <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Uh, as usual, tell your friends. Please leave comments. I could use some help here, as you can see. Um, follow me on Twitter, MinecraftOTB. That's a great way to tell me directly um, what you're thinking. And all the comments I will respond to as well as the tweets. So anyway, thanks for watching, guys. I hope this is at least interesting watching me fail, if nothing else. It feels like that's what we're doing. But but I'll keep it up. We'll, we'll get better. So this is new stuff for me, and I think probably for some of you guys. So anyway, thanks for watching, guys. We'll talk to you next time.